The state government has admitted it regularly uses private investigators to spy on public servants accused of misconduct. Fresh information tabled in Parliament reveals more than a million dollars was spent on private investigators last financial year and on one occasion they were called in to look at a worker's substandard performance. Earlier this year it was revealed the Department of Transport wanted to hire private eyes to investigate the ride-sharing service Uber. Now the government's revealed its use of private investigators is more routine than not. I'm surprised by how much it is. It seems to me to be a huge amount of money. Figures provided by the government reveal its agencies and trading enterprises spent just over a million dollars on private eyes last financial year. The biggest spenders were the Health Department, Horizon Power, the Disability Services Commission, Water Corporation and the Department of Transport. The union representing public servants says it's a major breach of trust. It's hard to see how the government can justify the use of private investigators, especially when the C, the Public Sector Commission and HR units are already set up to ensure employee conduct in the public service is appropriate. In answers to parliamentary questions, the government reveals it's used private eyes to investigate misconduct, breaches of discipline, substandard performance, the leaking of confidential information and workplace bullying. It seems very, very unusual that somebody would be investigated by a private investigator about their work performance. Mark McGowan says the spend can't be justified and has called on the Premier to end the expensive practice of governments using private investigators. The opposition says the government should be using agencies like the C instead, which has an annual budget of $33 million. The Premier has the capacity to stop this sort of thing happening if he wants to. The Premier was unavailable to respond. In a statement, the Public Sector Commission said these arrangements have been in place for successive governments and in most cases the relevant unions support independent assessments of these matters. The Commission says the external investigators have a good understanding of what's appropriate to the public sector. Rebecca Carmody, ABC News.